Now we've spent time explaining why St. Mary's style of play is so effective, but I'd be remiss to not mention the concerns of playing this way as well. Because of their slow pace, St. Mary's naturally has less of a margin for error when it comes to games. If you think about it, the less possessions featured in a game, the more likely it becomes that the inferior team can get lucky and win. Typically, playing slow is a method used by worse teams to try and prevent the game from getting out of hand. And St. Mary's is used to playing the role of an underdog, especially in bigger games. But all of a sudden, the Gales are a legitimately good team and if you look at their metrics, they should be expected to win most of the games they play. But what happens when you take a style used by underdogs and apply it to a nationally elite team? Well, you can get games like Virginia's 2018 loss to UMBC in the NCAA tournament, where the game was slowed down to a point where the Cavaliers simply didn't have enough possessions to mount a shred of a comeback after a slow start. It's this type of game that should worry St. Mary's. Yeah, they can control the game with their pace, but they do open themselves up to potential upsets as a result of it as well.